Technology is not the enemy. I hear it constantly. Tech's gonna take away our jobs, blah, blah, blah. AI, drones, photo assist, virtual claims. If that's the case, why am I even doing these videos? Would I invest so much time and effort into Adjuster TV if I believed all the noise out there about my industry going away? No. Wanna know why? Keep watching. You're watching the Property IA Show. This video is sponsored by Kaplik. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance ourselves. Get the free guide at cplic.net slash adjuster TV and by the IA firm CCMS and Associates to apply to this fast growing and innovative firm Email your resume and a cover letter to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. It is really one of the biggest things that you can do to help Adjuster TV. Why would Matt keep doing this if this career was dying? Technology is changing the way we handle claims. Our jobs are starting to look a little bit different as things evolve. It is real. But you know what? It's always been real. And while it may not seem like it, going from an all paper file to an all digital file was a technological change and some people were actually complaining about it. And that was 17 years ago, right? The work was essentially the same, but tech made us more effective and better able to serve all of our customers. The same holds true now. Unless insurance itself goes away, there will always be claims. That's why we have insurance in the first place, right? I pay you a monthly fee. In exchange, you take on the financial burden of, of large covered losses on my behalf if you were an insurance company. Coming up, Dave Kaltenbach, president of the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters and founder of 2021training.com answers the question, will tech take away our jobs? But first, if you're looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number, let me tell you about our friends over at CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called the big mom and pops firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a very talented adjusting team. So if you would like to become a part of the family, email your resume and cover letter directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Is there gonna be a need for an insurance adjuster? Well, I've heard that ever since I, I've been around this industry. Technology's changing. You're gonna be, you know, you're replaced by a robot. Carriers. They have a fixed profit margin. It's the most beautiful business in the world. So what do they get to do? They get to say, well, here's what I made last year and it didn't cover my expenses. They go to the insurance commissioners, they, they raise policy rates. Guess what? They get their profit. The whole concept of they can't, they can't afford to send me out as a you know, $300 and $400 line item or even an $800 line item on certain claims because they can't afford it. That's not true. They can't afford anything they want to afford or can justify affording. What they can't afford is somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, goes out and creates a mess for them, and then creates thousands of dollars of litigation and issues after they walk out to the homeowner. They can't afford that. And that's where you see the pendulum swings. And they, you know, then you know, with all the good adjusters gone, they get to an age where, hey, we're, we're, we're hanging up our tool belts and we're, we're just gonna sail off into the sunset. If nobody replaces them, then what happens? You get somebody who doesn't have that professionalism going out there, um, then the, the carriers start looking, well, how else can we service this customer? So it's not an issue of technology. Technology is always gonna change, and I suggest that you adapt and use it where we can. I mean, think of something simple. We, we've always had tape measures, right? That's how we go in and measure a room that we're in. You go into a high-end home. Do you think they want you dragging your tape measure over their $3,000 couch and their, their hutch over there that you're knocking with your metal tape measure? And I can promise you they're looking at it, they're saying he's gonna nick that thing with that. And they're, you know, the moment you walk out of that room, they're gonna walk over and they're like, that scratch wasn't there before. They, they're just gonna be wrenched in a knot, not because they're bad people, they just can't help it, guys. <laughs> so if I can sit there with my laser and, and measure across the room and they're just all smiles saying, okay, it's, we're, we're good. There's things to learn that'll make you a better person out there. And uh, if you're opposed to doing that, you will get lost in this industry. There will be a time where your service is no longer needed. Am I, am I smart enough to recognize when there's a better mousetrap built and Hey, that, that, that makes sense. Or am I closed-minded? Coming up next, what do IA firms say about technology? If you think about it, if the job of IA goes away, then IA firms go away. And the last time I checked, IA firms haven't gone away. In fact, 
Some are pivoting and adapting and innovating in order to not only just survive, but to thrive in a pretty quickly changing industry. But first, as insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We are writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can and will happen. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? You can just Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. It was interesting, we were recently described, you know, we're a, again, a super regional going nationwide 2020, we were recently described by an independent adjuster as a big mom and pop um, quote unquote. I thought it was interesting to have that from his perspective, the feel that he could call anybody here at the company and get an answer. Um, and often I use days that I get a chance just to call our associates and say thank you for sharing their talents with us because they have a choice. And they, that's pretty exciting for me to be able to say as the founder and you know, chief claim officer and have a great management team that they communicate with everyone on a day-to-day -day basis, but just to say thank you for sharing their talents. There's so, such a variety of adjusters, right? I mean, think about it. You're, you're not only property, residential, commercial, um, earthquake coverage or TWIA certification or North Carolina J certification, JUA certification. Think about all the other disciplines, your farm equipment, your your hull, your inland marine, your ocean marine, um, heavy equipment, docks and piers, docks and piers. Yeah. Does anybody understand that you can just be an adjuster focusing on docks and piers? That just uh, blows your mind sometimes when you think about it. Uh, as, we, as we evolve in the adjusting world, technology will be part of this and carriers will look at a way to reduce their cost. COVID-19 has kind of forced carriers to really start accelerate that, right? Um, again, as a technology-based independent adjusting company, we understand that technology is here. I, I think I talked to one of our associates, was it back in 2019, where there are a lot of tornadoes in the Missouri area that hit? and they were planning on leaving and handling a cat because they expected to be there. So we said, okay, the caseload you have, it's good, take care of it, thank you. When you're, when you're back from cat, give us a call, we'll be ready to get you back on and ready to handle claims. Two days later, I got the call and found out that they did not get the call to Missouri. And the reason why was because the insurance carriers there got together and decided to use the drive-by photo documentation upload to the home office and the home office would write the estimate the, the virtual adjusting role right it wasn't called virtual adjusting then but that's really what it was it's a drive-by photo so when you think about that what does that mean are we obsolete as adjusters you know as field adjusters well well no CCMS isn't because what's happening now in Missouri is those first-time adjusters that that um, a first time claims that were done by photo and uploaded, now there's complex issues on the back of that. That particular estimate that was created at the desk maybe didn't solve everything. And so there's reinspections needed. Well, that's an in person process. So CCMS was designed, we know that technology is here, we're designed to take on that next problem. And it doesn't necessarily have to go right to appraisal, right to mediation. There's, that's what we do is dispute resolution. So we, I see that technology is a necessary, it's going to be part of, our, part of our adjusting profession. We have to accept it, embrace it, and find ways to include it in our services, not just using like Exacta makes claim experience. Um, actually, CCMS and Associates found ways to do that before claim experience came out with, with policyholders who had immune deficiency issues, right? We had some of our policyholders who were saying, I don't want you to come in my house because I'm being treated for, you know, cancer, you know, whatever the case may be. We found solutions through Skype or through MS Teams 
to send them an invite before that and do a virtual platform of inspection. If you look at our world today, how much has changed and technology has infiltrated where communication is key, it's immediate, right? All of those things that happen in the adjusting world. Our job at CCMS and Associates is to make sure that our profession continues and that we integrate technology so that we continue. Anybody who's, who's thinking about getting into this industry, number one, you have to be prepared to realize that this industry is changing right now and it's changing very rapidly and all the technologies that we're taking for granted with our smartphones and our apps and that's starting to not only enter into the insurance industry, it's entering at a very fast, fast pace. Um, however, I do not think at any point in time that it's ever going to replace the human aspect and the, the physical being on site, a, a, a human being taking the scope notes and talking to somebody. Are there claims that that's going to be replaced? Yes, and, and we all have to, we'll have to ex accept that. Is it going to replace us as adjusters and individuals going out there? It never will. There's always going to be a human factor involved. And uh, that's one thing that I think is very important that I, I want people to realize that, you know, I've, I've talked to adjusters that said, oh my God, in five years we're going to be obsolete. No, we're not going to be obsolete. Some of this technology is going to create situations where we are going to have disputes that are going to arise and human beings are going to have to be involved in that process and, and resolving those disputes. So I don't think that adjusters will ever be obsolete. I think we'll be able to utilize the technology to our advantage, make us better, make us more efficient, um, but it's never going to replace us. CCMS offers um, a line of products for our clients that's uh, desk adjusting and all of the work can be done at the desk and um, during with the improved technology, everybody is realizing that you can work remote, be just as productive, if not more productive, uh, when you're working at home. And so we do offer a um, services to our clients that are pre-litigation and post-litigation adjusting from the desk. Um, I know that a lot of adjusters do have a concern that I can't climb a roof or I just don't want to. I don't want to be outside. It's too hot. I don't want to deal with that anymore. Um, and it's, it is nice to be able to bring your experience as a field adjuster when you're ready to stop climbing on roofs or you're ready to stop being out in the heat or chasing storms. Uh, you can certainly do desk adjusting and your prior experience is going to help help you uh, evaluate, fully evaluate the claim. Um, sometimes it's not always easy when you're looking at photos to understand what you're looking at, but if, you've, if you have the experience and you've done that in the past, um, it is certainly a lot easier to, to understand what's trying to be conveyed in those photos and have the conversation with the homeowner about what's going on at their home. The qualifications for a desk adjuster it varies on, on the type of work uh, that you are interested in doing. Um, there's certainly a need for somebody who has a, a vast um, prior field experience. It's absolutely beneficial. However, we've also seen just as many adjusters who are able to um, to learn based on the training that we provide. So we're always happy to take on somebody who is new new to the field and excited about learning. The biggest key is, is being able to or being willing to learn something new, take constructive criticism, um, take the feedback, uh, and, and, and really ask questions if you don't if you don't know, um, that's something that CCMS in general is, is very big on making sure that you ask questions. We want you to ask questions. Nobody knows all of the answers and we don't expect you to, um, but we do expect you to ask questions if you're not sure which direction to go. And finally, not only has the job of claims handling evolved, but the way we train has as well. But is online training going to replace live in-person training? Probably not for some things, but there are some advantages to online training for certain things that live training just can't compete with. Here's Melissa Britton, CEO of Adjuster Pro, to explain. So as we've branched into being a national solution for adjuster licensing and training, obviously the model of having live training in every location that we're going to be offering an, a solution for, for it uh, really wasn't a model that could continue. About 10 years ago, we moved to an online model. We started, again, Texas Online, see how that went. We were offering live courses as well as online courses, and what we found was people really did love 
the online format. They could take their courses wherever they wanted to. They could work from home. They could um, complete them at their own pace. Um, they could backtrack, review something, prepare for their exam in a way that, that is not available really in live training. Obviously, live training has its benefits too, but we realized in order for us to really provide what everyone needs, what everyone is going to need to get their license, we had to switch to an online model. So we chose to do that in a cut ties and, and move to the online format pretty much exclusively. Uh, and it proved to be very beneficial to the consumer. Um, not, just from a, not just from a course feasibility standpoint and the ability to, to get through courses and review courses, but also from a actual ability to pass their state exams. We've, we saw a lot of um, success in the online model and that was really what was the biggest litmus test for us was to be able to say, hey, it's all fine and dandy if we switch to this online model because it's good for Adjuster Pro. But what was most important was can people still get through their exams and, and learn what they need to learn and get their licenses so they can get to work? And what we found was our ability to offer thousands more online classes uh, to, to these folks really put boots on the ground a lot quicker than it did back when we were doing a live, live training model. Insurance, it's not going away. It's 3% of GDP, and while that may not sound like much, it's still hundreds of billions of dollars spent every year. It is an integral part of our society, and I would argue an extremely valuable one. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love riding along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself, Chris Stanley from IA Path, Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School, and others show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know that it's hard to find a working adjuster who will let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at AdjusterTVPlus.com. Adjuster TV is the premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining programming to help you learn what adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career in claims, a career where you can help people in their time of crisis, and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free training tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.